Well, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we are doing a some, something a little bit special with our mystery tackle box, all right? So, uh, today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. If you don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, it is a monthly subscription-based company. You get a box full of baits sent to your doorstep every single month. This is about $35, $40 worth of baits. You can use my code and uh, get your first box for as low as $9.99. I'll have that link down below. I highly recommend checking them out talk about them every single month and I truly mean everything I say about them they're an unbelievable company so let's go over what's in this month's box so first we got the swim bait boot tail the Dobbins D blade beast spinner bait first off drop a comment down below if you knew that Dobbins made hard baits or soft plastics or anything like that I thought they only made rods <laughs> um, which I own one of their rods and I'm very fond of them so that was quite interesting to see I was shocked to get that in my mystery taco box we got the Bill Lewis crankbait Stanley Jigs original rivet missile bait shockwave and the Eagle Claw laser sharp hook. I've used uh, Eagle Claw so many times. It was like one of the first hooks I started off with. So um, everything we got in this month's box is juicy, but I didn't want to do another MTB Slim because yeah, I just like to switch things up. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have Todd take all the baits and he's just gonna like put it on the ground. I'm gonna be blindfolded and I'm gonna pick two baits. Those two baits I have to fish with the entire time we were fishing this pond. So it doesn't matter if the fish aren't eating the two baits that I picked. We have no choice but to fish with them. So Todd's gonna help me out. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna get to fishing. So thank you so much, Mr. Tackle Box, for sponsoring today's video. You guys are amazing. I love you guys so much. Let's just get ready. Let's get ready to go crank some fish, have some fun. Uh, we are obviously in the Cape, if you couldn't tell. I think I already said that. I just love the Cape. I can't. Uh, all right. Well, we gotta get a couple of things loaded. Then we're gonna get out in the water. But first off, before we do that, let's get Todd and we're gonna go pick everything. Well, we're gonna pick our two baits, so let's see how this goes. All right, Neil, go ahead, feel the ground. There you go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Becca can't see. All right, guys, let's rearrange these a little bit on her. She has no idea what's where. All right, Becca. Well, you know what we didn't think about? What? What if I stab myself? That's fine. Okay. <laughs> You'll be fine. All right, so go ahead and reach forward and, uh, you know, touch the ground and stuff until you find the baits. Crank bait. <laughs> so glad you didn't stab yourself. <laughs> I did a little bit. <laughs> Okay. All right, you can get one more. Well, where's that the box? Spinnerbait. There you go. Oh. Crankbait and spinnerbait. <laughs> I just stabbed myself that bad. That was that went way better than I expected that to. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you had them out like this. I should have. Ah. Uh, oh, well, I didn't you even can pair know. the missile baits. Yeah, I think that's or a good the ribbit idea. with the spinnerbait. Yeah, I mean... I would do the missile baits. All right, yeah, we can do that, but I have to use these two baits no matter what. Yeah, you don't have to use those, but you have My to eyes are, like, trying to dilate because it was, like, pitch black, so, like, I'm still, like, my eyes are, like, blurry right now. <laughs> that was scary. That was a lot of faith in you. <laughs> it tries to do with my life. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> All right, so uh, we got that figured out. We know what baits I'm going to use. I'm going to bring the whole mystery tackle box just in case, and we're going to go get everything ready, get out in the water, stick around, stay tuned, enjoy today's episode. Let's go crank some fish. Alright, Todd's already hooked up. Literally his first cast. That is a good sign. That means the fish are biting. I'm launching my kayak. Let's start this video off. We got two baits. That is it. I wish I, honestly, I wish I got the, the little knocker head so I could use it as a jig, slow roll it. But hey, this is how the challenge is, alright? We can't pick and choose. Well, we did pick and choose, but we didn't know what we were actually picking. <laughs> let's get this video started. Stick around, stay tuned. Let's go crank some fish. Alright, folks, let's get this started off. I'm going to start with the spinner bait, no trailer hook, not even any sort of, um, God, what am I trying to say? No sort of trailer, nothing, just a plain old spinner bait. See how this is going to work. 
the wind is not really too bad right now but there is wind so i really think that's going to come into play right now with our moving baits um again i wish i got like a moving bait and then something that wasn't moving but hey the moving bait the moving bait bite just might be on we picked those baits for a reason i don't know why but uh that's how the cookie crumbles so <laughs> let's see if we can make it happen i'm so jacked right now todd's already got one it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a good good video There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Oh my god, yes! Okay, I was honestly starting to lose hope because I've fished this place twice so far and I've never used a hard bait. Oh my god, it just popped out. So I was super nervous that, like, a lot of ponds, hard baits might not work that well, but this is a super clear pond and white and chartreuse are, chartreuse, <laughs> are like super great colors to use here. So I was very confident and then I lost confidence and now here we are with a beautiful large mount. Oh, oh, sorry guys. Well, fish number one on the spinner bait. Thank God, I was getting super nervous. Every time I get nervous, I like go mute. So I haven't said anything to you guys. And I'm like sitting here and I'm like, well, I just cast in that spot 10 times. Let me cast a couple more times. 10 more to cast in that one spot. I can't even tell you guys how many casts I made in that same exact spot. And then he finally came out of nowhere and hit it. Whew. All right. Confidence levels finally back up. Was a little nervous. Comment down below what bait you guys think is going to get the most fish. I'm going to give them equally as much love. You guys think that spinnerbait's gonna catch the most fish or the crankbait? I'm very curious. I kind of know what my answer is, but I'm more curious to see what you guys are thinking. There we go. There we go. Oh, this actually feels like pretty decent fish too. Stay down, stay down. Stay down. I just put down the crankbait. Just put down the crankbait. Oh God. Oh God. No, 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 no. It's actually a really decent fish. For this pond, this is a pretty quality fish. This pond has giants, I gotta say. Yes, dude. Did you guys see how many casts I took of that crankbait in the same exact spot? I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm still giving the crankbait some hope, but this spinnerbait, it is getting it done. Beautiful, greeny, largey bass. There you go. See you later, buddy. A greeny, largey bass. You guys like that? Quote from Becky Yassine. Greeny, largey bass. No cut corners on that one. Really came up with that one on the spot. All right, now that we're sitting pretty good right now. Um, I think I, I mentioned this when I caught the first bass of the day. But there's something about that white and that really bright obnoxious color in this clear water not just this clear water but any clear water that seriously makes a huge difference i've noticed that a lot um yeah just i i highly recommend it. if you're fishing somewhere clear use something just like this um and i wish you the best of luck i really think really think this is the combo killer for this water clarity even in like really like dirty and muddy ponds a bright a bright color like this works really well too. It's just an all around really, really convenient color to have in your arsenal. Oh my God, got hammered, got hammered. Anyways, <laughs> almost like every like chatterbait or uh, crankbait, um, a spinnerbait I have, I'll have it in a white and chartreuse color just because of how convenient it is to use in so many different water clarities. So that's my little tip for the day is definitely invest in some, some hard baits in this color because you can use it in so many different water clarities very versatile there we go oh that's a good fish that's a good fish oh my god that's a really good fish that's a really good fish that's a really good fish 
Oh my god, please stop it. Please stop it. Please stop it. Oh my god, it's a really good fish. Oh my god. Yes! Oh my god, that's a good fish. Got him on the outside of the mouth, too. That's so crazy. And the crazy thing, which I think is funny, you guys might not think is funny, but I think is hilarious, is I'm using a Dobbin spinnerbait on a Dobbin's rod. I think that's pretty sick. There we go. See? Dobbin. Dobbin spinnerbait. That is so sick. That is a quality freaking fish right there. Yes! Guys, we were having so much fun out here. All right, buddy. See you later. Thank you for being the biggest fish of the day. Oh, God. Whew. I also wanted to ask you guys if you guys have been liking the saltwater videos lately and if you prefer the freshwater videos because I have been having way too much fun catching those stripers. So let me know in the comments down below. I'm really curious to see what you guys like better. Um, I think I asked this on Instagram and you guys said you liked them. Like it was like 49% said freshwater and like 51% said saltwater. So <laughs> I don't really know what videos you guys like to see the most, but I've been trying to do a little bit of both. Hopefully that's okay. I'm definitely a multi-species angler. I love to catch a little bit of everything. Can never go wrong with catching some bluegill and then going to the salt scene and catching 30 inch striper. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't really bluegill fish, but bluegill fishing is underrated. The crazy part is, last time I fished this, uh, this pond when I was at the Cape, I even said to myself that I wish I had a crankbait because I figured a crankbait would absolutely slay it here. And um, I don't know, I guess I was wrong. But this is also a six foot diving crankbait. So I'm gonna give that the benefit of the doubt because um, all the fish I've caught so far are super duper shallow. And obviously how shallow can you really get with a six foot um, diving crankbait unless you have this thing on braid and you're like standing up on your kayak. Uh, Todd and I have done that before with the deep diving crankbait in a shallow pond. Um, but besides that, I mean, I don't know. I can't really cast too shallow. Very, very weedy pond, that is for sure. So it's making things a little bit difficult. I don't want to give too many excuses to this crankbait. I got to say it looks insanely juicy in this pond, but the rattle super loud in this thing. It just looks like a really, really quality crankbait. I'm impressed with it, but will it catch us fish? Stick around and stay tuned, folks. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm trying my best out here. Kind of just like alternate. Oh, well, my GoPro just died. But anyways, what I was trying to say when my GoPro died was I'm alternating between crankbait and spinnerbait. So I just casted right there with the crankbait. And now I'm cr and now I'm casting right there with the spinnerbait. So I'm making it as even as I possibly can. But really the challenge was to catch fish on the two baits that i picked blind folded and um that's exactly what i'm doing so can't complain i can't complain but i really have hope for this crankbait i don't know i'm getting nervous i gotta say oh my god no way Oh, oh my God. The crankbait caught us an absolute giant. Oh my goodness. This is the cutest bass. Oh no, <laughs> no, not today. Not today. If you watched my last video, Ty got a hook in his freaking finger on a jerk bait. You are not hooking me, buddy. I'm so sorry to inform you. Guys, the crankbait caught a fish. So what is it, the crankbait one and spinnerbait three? Hmm, okay, all right. <laughs> Look at that, the crankbait kind of looks like a bass. Hmm, interesting, interesting, but that's okay. All right, buddy, thanks for being my first crankbait bass of the day. That was so graceful. Anytime a fisherman goes to gracefully release a fish, it never happens. <laughs> that was awesome. All right. Crankbait, I'm impressed, but now it's spinnerbait time. Yes, yes, another one on the spinnerbait. Stay down. It's another decent one. It is another freaking decent one. Oh my God. What? We got another decent fish. Come here, come here, come here. Yes. This fish was so shallow, I can't even, 
I casted right under this dock and that last little opening, if you guys can see that, like super shallow, came out and just smacked it. I don't know where he came from. Maybe I just cast it right on top of his head. I don't really know. I think this is our second biggest of the day. That is saying something. What a quality, quality fish. See you later, buddy. Ooh, he just went right over there. He went back to his home. I respect it. I respect it. Okay, so now it's four, two, one. Crankbait obviously won. Um, I think it's pretty obvious what bait is getting quality size fish. Um, if the crankbait caught like an absolute giant, I'd be like, all right, well, we caught one giant on the crankbait. That's, that's pretty sick, but it was pretty small. Not giving up on the crankbait, folks. Not giving up on the crankbaits. Whew. All right, guys, we have definitely been here for a while. I would probably say give or take about two hours. We're uh, five fish. Oh, Todd just got another one. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to just kind of play around with the other baits in here. Um, I do have a three to six foot diver. I have a Ned rig. Like I've just put random baits in here. Um, but I think we should stick to what we got in the mystery tackle box. And what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to attempt, attempt, keyword is attempt the, to throw this right here. I've actually never caught a fish on a soft plastic topwater frog before. So this should be interesting. New challenge. But I'm not going to give this bait too much time. We're just going to kind of mess around, see if we can catch some more fish. I think it was pretty, uh, yeah, it was pretty self-explanatory from watching this video that the spinnerbait definitely took the W. But um, yeah, that was kind of expected. If the crankbait was again more of a shallow diver, I feel like it would have been a lot closer. But hey, we caught some fish and I'm really excited. I thought this video was a really cool idea to switch things up. All right, hopefully I don't rig this wrong. I have no idea what I'm doing. This, this could be ugly. Hold on guys. Oh my God, I rigged it right. Yeah, I rigged that right. Hell yeah. Well, again, not, I'm throwing this not on, you know, I, I don't have braid, but that's okay. Let's see if this thing is juicy. Oh God, it looks so good. Okay, let's give this some time, not too much time though, because I just really want to crank some fish for you guys and have some fun, but I really want to challenge myself at the same time, which is kind of contradicting, so we'll see. No way. Oh my god, first cast, first cast with the ribbit thingy majig. No way. Oh my god, that was awesome. That was so awesome. Oh. Oh, you son of a gun. Son of a gun. I've had so many blow ups on this thing. That was my first like real good blow up though. Darn it. Oh, 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 that fish is hungry. Yes, oh my God, oh my God, such a clutch fish, dude. Such a clutch fish. Oh my God, oh my God, yes. Dude, yes, what a clutch fish fish am i recording yes oh my goodness we caught a fish on the top water soft plastic frog <laughs> let's go oh i'm so happy right now see you later buddy yes all right i feel very accomplished right now extremely extremely accomplished yes 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 <sighs> all right everybody i just got off the water i could not give up on that top water frog hey i got a top water fish on that soft plastic frog? I know, you changed it up. Yeah, the, I was catching fish and I wanted to try one more thing in the box and <laughs> I, it was too tempting, it was too tempting. That's dope. And I, I got uh, I got a nice blow up over there, a couple over here, and none of them were like eating it. And then I had one really good one over there and he just, Annihilate. yeah, it was so sick. I'm I so jacked. soft plastic frogs. I've never caught a fish on one before. Me neither. Until <laughs> <laughs> no way. This, this one's not a puffer, so I want to try this. Yeah, I have a whole the packet. One was, yeah, the take one as many as you want. Uh, so, Todd, did you have a good day out in the water? I can't believe this place. Isn't it sick? For a tiny pond? Yeah, it has good fish in it, quality fish in it, healthy, clear water. 
it's like everything you'd ever want in and a pond. Hungry. And they're so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> they're so hungry. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much, Mr. Tackbox, for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to go check them out, link down below. Hopefully everyone that is an MTB user enjoyed their boxes this month because I know I did. It was such a blast catching fish on them, and I'm so excited to continue to use these baits that I got in this month's box to go crank some fish. That is all I got for you guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Cape Cod videos. I love you guys so much. Make sure to go check out Todd. He'll be linked down below. But that's all I got. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you guys next time.